Cloudinary makes it easy to display an image gallery with a large amount of images on your page. Let's see how we can add the product gallery to add our images in a React application. To start initializing the product gallery widgets, we need to add its script link in the index.html file or wherever you load external scripts. This will add a Cloudinary property to our window object, which contains the gallery widget initialization method. So, let's first add a use effect to ensure that we have access to the window object. Then we can invoke the gallery widget method and pass the following options. A container ref that points to the div in which we want to render the image gallery, cloud name which can be found in our Cloudinary dashboard, and a media asset array that defines which images from our media library will be used in this gallery. Let's create the container ref first. We'll use the use ref hook to create a new ref and assign it to the div below. Now we can add it to the options, but it's also a good idea to add it in the if condition above. Then we can set the cloud name value, which can be found in the Cloudinary dashboard. Now let's provide the media assets definitions. The easiest way to define which images are to be displayed is by using the tag property. So let's display all images from our library that have the tag gallery images. To add a tag to multiple images, we can simply select them, click on the tag action, type in the tag we'd like to use, and then click update. You should also make sure that the resource list option is not enabled in the restricted media types. And you can check that in the security page in your settings. To show the gallery on our page, we need to invoke the render method on the gallery widget. So let's add a render after our gallery widget initialization. And now we can see the gallery on our page. We can take this further and customize our gallery. To start, we can see some spacing on top of the image I used for my gallery here. That's because the default aspect ratio of the images is square and my image is wide. We can change that by setting the aspect ratio property to the one we want. So let's say 16 by 9. Now the extra space is gone. Aside from images, we can also show videos and spin sets. Let's try adding a video in our gallery. We'll duplicate the tag object, rename the tag to gallery-videos, but also set the media type property to video to indicate that we're displaying videos. Also, don't forget to tag your videos as well. If we refresh the page, we'll see the new video as the last element of our gallery. There's also an option to change the display mode of the gallery. Instead of thumbnails, we can also display indicators. Let's add the carousel style property and set it to indicators, and also the carousel location and set it to bottom. This turns our thumbnails into circle indicators and puts them at the bottom of the carousel. So now we have a standard image gallery in which we can display an image, video or spin set from our Cloudinary media library. Alright, so let's do a quick recap. To bring the product gallery widget code into our project, we need to add its script link into the index.html file. Then we use the use effect to ensure that we have access to the window object and use the window.cloudinary.gallery widget property to initialize the widget. We created a ref that points to the gallery diff element and set the container property of the widget to it. We also provided our cloud name value and the media assets library that defined which images we want in our gallery. To render the gallery on our page, we invoke the render method after the gallery widget method. By adding the carousel style and carousel location properties, we change the appearance of our gallery from thumbnails to indicators at the bottom.